Hello, Home Talk. I am Paula Blankenship, and we are here today to show you how to recolor and rethink about your interior doors. We're so excited to be painting in our own bathroom here at work. So if you've ever watched us before use the Heritage Collection paint products, um, I think you already know how easy they are to use. We're going to show you some great tips, and we're also going to be doing some great giveaways during this live. So stay with us. Melissa Osborne is joining me here. She is also going to be showing you a second coat on the door, so you can get to see the first coat as well as the second coat. We also have Amy with us, and she's joining us on the computer. She'll be doing questions, answering questions, and helping you understand a little bit more about the product. So ask away. Please post your zip code and tell us a little bit about yourself and where you live. We'll also be sharing a question with you, what you can do to enter in our giveaway today. We're giving away a quart of paint as well as uh, t-shirt. We're Heirloom Traditions t-shirt. So stay with us and watch the demo. I'm going to get started real quick and use the paint product. I have already stirred this. We're using a great color. We're going to paint these doors black. So this color is called Iron Gate. It is a chalk paint look, but it doesn't require wax, doesn't require any priming or a top coat over it. So I think you'll love the look. It's that very on-trend look. It's a very low luster matte velvety finish and it looks fantastic. It smooths itself out, so this makes you look like a pro painter in minutes. We've already taken off the door handles, so we're ready to get started. I've already given this paint a good stir. One great tip before you get started, get yourself some inexpensive gloves. You can use household gloves. Just make sure that you don't get the paint on your hands. Put down something on the floor, obviously, to take care of that. And um, just protect the door handles and the hardware and don't paint over that. So you get a nice professional look. I am using a great quality brush. You can use any brush you have. This is not really about a brush as much. Uh, it is the paint. It is a fabulous product. It just self levels, self primes. It looks great. So moving right to the door, I'm going to get started here and show you what this paint's going to look like. Now, first coat over black over white is not always going to look great. But I'm going to put some paint on and show you how easy it is just to get started. It's very on trend right now to paint your doors, and everybody's painting them in blacks. They're painting them in um, just darkening them. And I'm not going to paint the casing. I'm only going to paint the door itself, just the actual slab of the door. I always go in here first and paint around any of the detail. I just kind of put on a coat there and it begins to run. Then I'm going to catch that when I paint down this center stripe. Something else to note. These doors are uh, what I call hardboard. They're just a builder grade door. Lots of people have them. Uh, and they have a wood grain in them. So we want to be kind of cognizant of the wood grains crossing right here. Even though the brush strokes smooth out in this paint, you still want to paint the door, paint out this detail. Then you want to paint this center bar. Then you want to come to this center bar last. And that's going to give you the right grain and the correction of how the grain is cut in the door. That way it doesn't look just painted just randomly. If you see any cross hatching of the paint, it will match the detail of the door. Just look at your door and you can see how it was manufactured to look like wood. And that's the brush strokes that you want to follow along in the paint. So anyway, just a little tip there. All right, so here we go. I'm going to let, I think it's pretty fascinating more to watch the second coat going on than the first coat. Everybody post your zip code where you're watching us from today. This paint product is available at Do It Best Hardware nationwide. So you can go into your local Do It Best and pick up any of the Heritage Collection colors. They're great 12 colors. Mel's going to show you that color chart right here. So let her pick it up and go from there. I'm going to keep painting while she talks a bit. There's the colors. Can you guys see them okay? So there's 12 colors, lots of grays, tans, blues, very European inspired white, obviously. Amy, can you turn the camera towards my door a little bit? Sure. Now that you see what I'm... There you go. All right. Perfect. Okay, hi everybody. <laughs> so you can see here, we've already got a first coat on here. Don't be alarmed at the first coat. People tend to get worried at this stage. They think, oh gosh, it's not covering great. I'm not seeing, or I'm seeing a lot of brush strokes when really what they're seeing is the underneath color coming through. This coat's always a little rough with any paint product. So you just gotta... It's the bite coat. Yep, it's establishing your bonding. So just gotta let it dry and you're gonna get it on the second coat. The second coat's where the magic happens. So um, we're just going to get started here. Let me just give you your paint oh, and go for it, because this is really where you... Yeah, I'll put it here and you can grab and I'll grab it. All right, good deal. Are you guys timing, Paula? Time her to see how fast she gets <laughs> this coat done. Well, this is where the magic is right here. So you've already taken a few minutes and painted that one. So yep. maybe we'll get this one to yep. dry. Okay, so let's see where you guys can see good. You want good to make deal. sure you're using a liberal coat of paint. I'm going to come up close to the camera here and show you real quick. I make sure I've got a liberal coat 
So I did my brush, and then I only wipe off one side. I leave this side full strength. That way I make sure I've got plenty. Yes, you don't want to dry brush the door. You actually want to really apply paint. Even the second, the first coat and the second coat, you don't want it to run, but you don't just wipe and put the paint and just keep brushing it out. You really want to put on a nice coat. So again, one side, like she said, offload one side to the can and leave that much on your brush. Give it a full dip, meaning right down to half of the hairs on the brush. Just don't go to the furl, just go to half down and then offload half. That's a good rule of thumb. You if you have some questions. Sure, go. Are, are these good on a metal door? Absolutely. This paint bonds to metal, plastic. Um, it doesn't, again, it'll bond over enamel paints. If you've already painted your door with enamel, say your exterior door, it is very UV um, protected. It doesn't fade and it won't chalk like any other paints. If you painted your door black with a traditional um, alkalid paints or any acrylics, you're going to get chalking over time. Blacks and blues and all those colors begin to get a white hazing over them. This paint's very stable at, in UV light, so um, you can go put, paint your front door. I'm sure you guys may have saw us paint our front door uh, last time on Home Talk. So we are going to be doing some other doors, shutters, anything. We're actually going to be doing trim. a garage door on the next one. Yes, we are. We're going to show you how quickly you can transform your garage doors on our next Home Talk. So this interior door, lots of people have already been trying painting their interior doors. And they've shown us some great photos. So we just thought we would jazz up our bathroom doors here a bit with the paint products just to show you how great it's going to change up this room, literally. Cindy would like to know, what about indoor hollow doors. This is exactly what we're working on. This is an indoor hollow door right here, Cindy. You're seeing a real example. And what about doors that already are stained with something? You can paint right over a stained door. Absolutely. And it wouldn't require any priming either. So unless you're painting your doors white. Now remember, if you are painting anything white, you definitely need to take care of the uh, white. But if you're going dark over them, you don't have to do anything. So just paint. We have some new visitors with us who didn't catch the name of the paint, Paula. It is Heirloom Traditions Paint Products, and the paint that we're using is called the Heritage Collection, and it's from the All-in-One Collection that we make. So you can visit us online at allinonepaint.com. You can learn all about it. You can also see the map there for Do It Best retailers nationwide who sell the paint product. You can also go to our website and purchase products from us if you wish. Uh, we were talking about the great 12 colors that the paint comes in. Right here is the color chart. This is available for you also online. You can see all of the colors or you can order yourself a color card. So check it out online. Again, if you want to try the paint, stay with us. We have a great offer that we're offering during this live. So just stay right with us. We're going to keep you there. We're going to do a giveaway also. What is the question for the giveaway? Have you already... um, what color would you paint your interior doors? What color would you paint your interior doors? That's the question. So if you have an answer and give us a pick a color, you can go to the color chart if you want on the all-in-one paint dot com website pick a color post that color and the winner with the best story and the best idea is going to or the person with the best story and the best idea is going to be the winner of the quart of paint of your choice as well as a t-shirt from heirloom traditions so there again visit all in one paint dot com and you can see the color chart pick your color post that and let us know and we're going to pick a winner here shortly and we'll announce that in a bit we also have a great giveaway as well as a promotion that we're running right during the end toward the end of this so stay with us we got a really awesome one for you we have another question sure um oh i almost lost it um sandy wants to know why you didn't take the doors off their hinges oh that was definitely unnecessary you do not have to take doors off hinges to paint them too much work too much work <laughs> i mean you can if you want but um, there's no need in doing that no need to take them off the hinges you can find some Ardolino or uh, Yeah, they're much easier to paint here, definitely. Yeah. Just get you a drop cloth, some craft paper, an old sheet, something to go right under the ledge of your door so you can paint straight to the floor. Open right. the door a little bit so you can get to the edges and you're good to go. Right, just don't paint your hardware and make that messy. But outside of that, pretty easy to do. So this is my first coat. And if you can see that well, I'll just turn the camera there. That's my first coat, and once it begins to dry, we will give it about an hour here, and then we'll come back because it's pretty humid in this room. So once it's dry, I'll put on the second coat, and we're done. And pretty awesome transformation, I think, this room. This ceiling out beyond this room that you can't see is black. So there's black used all through the building. So kind of these are going to be neat. 
Julie would like to know, is it fade resistant? It is fade resistant. That's what we're saying. It's UV protected, built into the paint already. So that's why we call it the all-in-one paint. It has a bonding primer. It doesn't require any top coat or any wax. It bonds and paints anything and everything, pretty much anything you see that you want to paint. You don't have to do any sanding or any pre-prep for using the paint product. It's also going to give you that beautiful non-latex look. So there's lots of paint products out there, but this one gives you that chalk painted look without all the work. So it doesn't require that wax step or a top coat step to protect it from the weather or to protect it on your furniture pieces. It's gonna give you that low luster, beautiful velvet sheen that other paints don't. If you're painting with latex, you understand when I say it looks plastic. Latex gives you that plastic. It also will roll off. You can uh, run your fingernail over latex years sometimes and it will still be gummy. Uh, this paint doesn't do that. This paint contains no latex. So that's what makes it kind of unique and that's what makes it awesome, so. Uh, Question. Nina, Nina would like to know how many standard doors can you paint with one jar? This jar covers 140 square feet in a quart. It will cover an 8 by 10 kitchen if you're doing your kitchen cabinets. Uh, it goes a very long way. So I would think we have used maybe an ounce or two per door. So it's going to go a long way. There's 32 ounces in a quart. So let's say black's going to take a couple quarts or a couple of coats. And one, one quart of the paint will paint... I'm going to say most of the doors in a home, so it will go at a tremendous long way. You know if a quart will paint a whole kitchen, that it will paint several doors in your home. So it's uh, economical when you think of it in those ways. Absolutely. So, oh, your door looks great. i got to show you where she's at. Look at this. It looks fantastic. That's the second coat of the door. And once that's dry, it won't be shiny like that at all. It will be very matte but it will also have a beautiful glow, beautiful sheen to the paint. And that's a great thing I want to mention too. This paint starts to dry really quickly and of course it's changing sheens as it's drying. So when I'm painting, I have a tendency, you know, by the time, you know, I'm done with the bottom of the door, I look back up to the top and I go, oh, I've missed some spots. I really haven't, it's just where the sheen has changed. So resist that urgency, leave it alone. Yes, it's like fingernail polish. You don't want to continue, it's not normal paint. You don't want to continue to touch back to the paint. Let the coat level itself. Put enough on the brush that the paint can find its own level. It is self-leveling. So once it finds its level, um, you don't want to keep touching it. Again, like painting your fingernails, once you get that clear coat on there or get that paint on there, you don't want to touch it. It's going to do the same thing. It kind of messes it up. So let it flow out, then leave it alone, and then go back and see what you need after that, after that coat is good and dry. So we are wanting to uh, move right in and show you something else. This paint product, a lot of people are into antiquing and doing things that age the paint. We have another fabulous product in the Heritage Collection. It is called the Weathered Wood Antiquing Gel. It is a color that is a grayish. It's actually a black and a brown mixed together, if you will. That's the best way to explain it. It is, uh, hopefully that can show you the color. It is, it is equal brown as it is black, so right in between. But the effect of this is wonderful on any of your painted pieces. It works to enhance the detail, also tone and age the paint. And I want to show you a bit. This is a small piece of trim uh, that it's been painted with uh, one of our paint products. I'm just going to show you what it does to detail. You just brush the product on. One of the great things about this paint product, this glazing product, you can call it glaze, but it's really thick, and I want to show you that too. That's why we call it antiquing gel. It's not thin, it's not runny. It also allows you a long open time. What that means to you is that you can remove this for several hours after you put it on using a damp cloth. So if you don't like the effect that you've gotten out of it or you've put too much on, you can remove it with a damp cloth or if you want to let it dry and come back and even add more, you can do that. So it's kind of one of those foolproof products that we developed for the Heritage product. So just want to get that on and then I want to show you how to remove. I want to show you what it's going to look like once I remove it. Now that's a full coat I've just brushed on. I'm using a dry cloth. I'm just going to go in here and remove. Now I can take this cloth and dampen it and get more off if I wanted to do that or the heavier I want it on, obviously use a dry rag. So the dry rag is going to leave a lot more behind. Now, 
I'm going to show you on a cabinet door that doesn't have any detail. So can you see that awesome look? Yeah. This also gives a low luster sheen and another protective layer to your paint products. So if you're looking for that French country look, you like that Venetian kitchen look, this is an awesome product. We made it easy. We made it fail, just fail proof. So anyone, no matter what level or skill level you have, you can pick up the Heritage Collection products, paint them, and then glaze them. If you want that look, you can get that. We also offer kits, so you can walk right in to do it best. You can pick up that kit and go home and have everything you need, including a great brush, a brochure, with the information, the paint, and the glaze, right in that kit. So, question. We have a couple more questions sure. before we get to the giveaway. Um, some people want to are asking, how durable is it? It is amazingly durable. This is from the new paint, paint technology that is available these days, and this paint product is above and beyond. I'm sure you've seen a lot of advancements and a lot of advertising on television that's talking about advancements in the coatings world. This paint product is one of those advanced resin technologies that is above and beyond any other paint product that is on the open market today. We are ourselves uh, with this product being in a uh, nationally recognized paint product. So we are among the greatest brands out there with this paint product. So that does tell you that Do It Best Hardware, one of the leading hardware companies in the world, has put our paint product into their paint display. So we are on the shelves. You're going to see us all over the country. So you are in on the scoop right here using the paint products here via the internet. So I think that's pretty awesome that we have created this and started this right here with the grassroots right here on Facebook. So uh, the next one was the cure time. How long do you need to wait before you put on the second coat? You How long do not do you need to wait till it's dry. That's one great thing. You do need to wait until it's dry obviously before you put on the second coat because that would remove wet paint would remove the second coat. So wait till it's good and dry and you can tell that just by looking the sheen will go away or the wet will go away. And like Melissa's door, you can see it's beginning to dry in certain places and it's extremely humid and hot in this bathroom. So dying. <laughs> we're dying in here. Um, anyway, once that sheen has gone away, you're ready for your second coat. And generally that's about 45 minutes to an hour. Just let it be thoroughly dry. Drink a cup of coffee or have a drink or something. Come back, paint your second coat. Let that dry once that's dry to the touch and you can feel of it and see. Then you'd be ready to put on the put on your, an, your antiquing if you chose to do that. You can also sand, you can wet sand and distress and all those things too if you choose to do that. You can do that with this paint, this paint product in the green stage. You can't wait 24 to 48 hours. This paint product does not sand. It won't like sanding. So just be careful and if you are going to age and distress with sanding methods, do that early when the paint is green and let the and then come back with your antiquing gel as a finish for it that. It also tells you just how durable the paint is. It is amazingly durable. So I want to show you quickly on a cabinet door before we talk about our uh, promotion that we have, which is pretty amazing. If you haven't tried the paint products, I just want to show you this is a Amalfi, one of the beautiful colors in the Heritage Collection. I want to show you this door if you had a cabinet that you were painting and you wanted to antique a simple door that doesn't have a lot of detail or a lot of risen texture. I just want to show you just on this upper half what it's going to do to this door. Oh good. Well most people have pretty plain cabinets just like this. Uh, sometimes they have a raised panel, sometimes not. But just to give you a great, just show you a great example of just what you can do and how much detail and look you can give just your simple door. Now this product looks great on every one of the Heritage Collection colors including black. Uh, even though it's a brown or a gray, it warms black, oddly. It, uh, so if you're doing your doors, you could even put on the antiquing gel over this door just to give it some detail down in the cracks. It would be, be very subtle, obviously, but that's what you're going to get if you just glaze your door. And you, again, take more off if you want or leave more on. It's kind of up to you. And look how much it toned down that bright color. Yeah, so this is a beautiful color, but, you know, it's a little loud. So this would give you a subtle version of a Amalfi. So it's a kind of a, well, there it's a... Definitely change the color of it, definitely change the tone of it. So here's what we're going to offer to all of everyone who is on Home Talk. We are offering today, if you purchase a quart of the beautiful paint products that we're showing here today from our website at allinonepaint.com. If you visit allinonepaint.com and decide to buy a quart of paint, we're going to give you an antiquing gel for free. So that is a $20 value for free. It is very limited. There's thousands and thousands of people who are watching this today. so. Definitely, this is a limited offer. Uh, be the first, jump on and buy a quart of any of the colors of paint and you will get a $20 antiquing gel for you to try. It works on any product, not just on the Heritage Collection. So pick yourself out a great color and get this for free. So this is a super value for you. Mel has something to say? 
I just wanted to show you guys real quick uh, a quick tip on painting doors as these are starting to dry over on my door. That's okay. Okay. Uh, a place I like to watch for as I've gone on to my next door, I come back and check this a few minutes later. Even though when you first painted it, you might not see runs on these panel doors, but um, it's good to come back and check it because the paint will kind of seep out of the cracks on you and want to run. So you just want to keep an eye all around this detailed trim, Stick around these it. ledges, around the drawer knob hole, um, at the bottom, and kind of coming off your top ledge. Just keep an eye out for runs and just dab them when you do see them, right. but keep coming back and checking it, you know, for the first 10 or 15 minutes maybe. Right. Good tip. Great tip. So we hope this has been informative for you. Again, we are going to choose a winner from all entries today who have, have you gotten a winner picked out we, already? We do have a winner. Ooh, well. We have Pam Markworth and she says that her favorite color is Wedgwood Blue. Awesome. I yeah. I love Wedgwood. It's a great blue. Country kind of blue, but it is a beautiful, beautiful blue. Well, thank you, and I am so glad that you are the winner today. We can't wait to see what you do with the paint products. If you would please share them to us. We love to post your projects. So that's what it's all about, sharing in this community. So we would love to share your things. If you want to share anything that you've used the Heritage Collection paint products on, you can hashtag us using the hashtag all in one paint, or you can also hashtag Heritage Collection, also Heirloom Traditions Paint. We see all of those, and again, we'd love to share your projects. Show us the before, the after, tell us what you've used and uh, we'll post them on all of our pages. We have enjoyed this immensely, showing you what we can do, again, with the Heritage Paint products. We hope you take advantage of our giveaway today. We'll tell you what that is one more time. If you purchase a quart of the paint products today at allinonepaint.com, we're going to give you a free $20 value of the Weathered Wood Antiquing Gel. That's a 50% savings right now on the two products. And it's automatically added to your cart. Yep. You Automatic. Co you no code. code. Go there now. Nothing. If you want to take advantage of that, it is a very limited offer because there are so many people on this platform. You have to know it is limited. So be sure if you are interested, jump on now and get yourself the antiquing gel as well as your choice of paint colors. Again, we want to thank you for being with us and we really appreciate your time. We appreciate you Home Talk for having us. Thank you Mel Osborne and we also thank Amy McWilliams here for being with us on uh, Home Talk. Thank you all. We'll see you again soon.